Hey everyone, this is Chad, and in this video we'll be doing a water test with the all new Google Pixel 2. Now the Pixel 2 is IP67 certified, which means it can withstand immersion in water up to 1 meter for 30 minutes. However, keep in mind Google doesn't cover any water damage to your device, so I wouldn't go out of your way to throw your phone into the pool or anything like that. Now the first test we'll be doing is a shower test, which means we'll go ahead and spray a hose at the Google Pixel 2 and see how it stands up to that. And as you can see here, the Pixel 2 goes a little bit bonkers when water hits the screen and it opens and closes a bunch of different apps. So if you're hoping to be able to use the phone with water running on it, that just won't work. However, immediately after stopping the water source, you can resume normal phone usage without even taking a towel to the display and drying it off. That's just not necessary. Now the next test we did was water immersion. I decided to go ahead and record some underwater footage just to see how it would turn out, and I think it looks really good. One thing I noticed immediately was that the video never cut out. Even when I was about six or so feet underwater, it just didn't shut off the recording. I was also able to go above and underwater very quickly with the phone and it was able to quickly refocus and it never paused the video. I really didn't expect the camera to work so well underwater, so I'll go ahead and leave a little bit of extra video footage at the end of this video. Anyway, one thing everyone wants to know after someone performs one of these water tests is how the speakers fare and also how charging and everything else works. Well, I can attest to the fact that charging still works as usual, and I also recorded some audio of the Pixel 2 before performing the test. So here's the beginning audio. And here's the same audio about 10 minutes after the water test. Clearly the after audio sounds absolutely awful, but about an hour later I went ahead and retried it and it sounds pretty comparable and it's not that big of a difference. I noticed that the audio isn't as loud, but the clarity is still pretty decent. But let me know what you all think in the comments section down below about the audio. So how does everything we learn in this video translate into your everyday use with the Google Pixel 2? Well, you don't have to worry if you're on a phone call or using the Pixel 2 in the rain because it's just not a big deal. And if you do happen to jump into a pool with your phone in your pocket, so long as you quickly remove it and you towel it off and everything, it should probably be fine. But keep in mind that it is likely that your speaker quality will be affected with prolonged submersion in water. And anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.